Hi folks, welcome to another Craig Tech for Tableau. Today I've got some stuff for you on custom shapes. So this came about after a recent experience putting together some custom shapes for an Iron Viz uh, competition I was in. And uh, I want to show you, first of all, the basics, how and where to get a hold of your shapes and what you do with them to download them so that you can use them in Tableau. And then assigning your shapes to a dimension in Tableau. I'm going to uh, fill you in on a couple of uh, tips and lessons learned that I've picked up along the way. So first of all, uh, just to give you some context, these are the shapes that I've used in this uh, visualization. These are actually book covers uh, that I've just put onto a little timeline here uh, in the form of a shape. So let's start off with how do we get a hold of these shapes. So pretty simple, you just got to click on uh, an image out there on the web. So here's an image of two books. So I'm just going to right mouse click, save image as, and the best place to put you is straight into your Tableau repository, into the shapes folder there. Uh, good practice is to just create a new folder in here, um, and then uh, I've put them into Jack Reacher Picks, and that's all the ones that I've downloaded there. So I won't download that one again, but I want to show you now how you make use of those in Tableau. Let's go into uh, Tableau now. Here we are with uh, a new sheet. So let's attach our custom shapes to the title. So there's all of our titles. And if we make this a shape, uh, I should be able to just drag title again onto shape and we could use title. But first tip I'm going to give you is to not use raw columns in your data to do titles. Uh, to do uh, shapes for. So what I'm going to recommend is you create a simple calculator field here. Let's call it title shape. Now the reason I'm doing this is that what I'm doing is creating a Tableau column. And then when we attach metadata to Tableau columns, they stick a lot better than raw data columns. So there's a couple of scenarios where that title column may be renamed in your raw data to book title. And uh, if you replace references, you lose all the metadata associated with it. Similarly, if your data source is uh, Excel and it becomes, a, say, a SQL Server, and again, you replace the data source, if, you, if your metadata is all associated with a raw column, you're going to lose it all. So it's best to just hang these things off um, a calculated column. So let's go ahead and use that title shape on our shapes. And we're just going to make a bit of room so that they get a bit bigger here. All right, so we're going to make it a bit sizier. So they're not very good shapes, are they? Let's see what other uh, options we've got. When you double click on shape, see our drop down. For me, it's got my Jack Reacher picks in there, but if, if you can't see your new folder, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to reload those shapes, and then you'll open them up and you'll see those new shapes. There's all the ones that I've downloaded from the internet. And uh, if I want to assign each one of these shapes to each one of these, I can actually select it. And, and do this sort of thing. But what you find is these shapes are so small, it's very hard to tell which one's which. So you uh, be doing a pretty good job of it to be able to pick which book cover is which book here. So I'm going to show you a better way to do that. So let's just cancel out of this one. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that these uh, book titles uh, have some sort of um, relationship with the actual file name. So if we have a look here, the file names here are going to be pretty tricky. There's 61 hours, and you can see the file there is called 61 hours. So using names is not going to be a really good way to uh, to line our shapes and our uh, dimension up here. So what I'm going to recommend is that we, we use some other proxy dimension. So uh, that's, that's going to be a bit more suitable. So if we were to bring series number in here, we just make that a uh, dimension. Now this is the actual book series number, so it's not going to ever change. You know, it's pretty easy to match an, uh, an integer to the file. So uh, what I'd recommend now is if you're doing shapes, to go ahead and just rename all of your file names with a prefix of some sort of unique identifier. I'm going to recommend that you do uh, 0102 so that alphabetically uh, your shapes are going to appear in the same order as I do on the screen here. So I'll go ahead and change all of these ones to the, uh, uh, the, the, the prefix number, and I'll be right back. 
all right, all done. So uh, the, the magic of the pause button, uh, they're all finished up now. And with any luck, I should be able to link those to these. Let me see how this goes. So um, double click on our shapes again. Again, we probably need to reload shapes now that they're all renamed. Let me go and pick my uh, Jack Reacher picks. And if we assign palette, look what happens. We we uh, we don't actually get uh, the right order. Let's have a look. So see, we got die trying. He's looking at you know, the visitor and uh, tripwire. He's looking at night school. So the reason that's happened. See the order of these uh, shapes is uh, still alphabetical. We need to change the order of these shapes to be the series order here. So that's as simple as just doing a um, a sort. And we're going to sort by a field here, the series. And see how now we've got uh, the right order here. So now we should be able to go in, assign a palette, and let's see how we go on. Killing floor, matches killing floor, die trying, die trying, tripwire, tripwire. And if we scroll all the way down the bottom, we can see that uh, we've got them all working. Past tense, past tense. So that's how you uh, get your best use out of custom shapes to match up your um, your objects in Tableau. And uh, you can get something um, out like that. So um, thanks again for watching. And until next time, see you later.